Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can create dynamic form fields in view. So today I'll be more focused on view side and back in Laravel side I'll just be showing you. I have already written code regarding that. So now let's get started with today's video. So in view you can see I have just one card here with add button. So in clicking of add we will be adding our input fields dynamically. So that's what we are going to do in this video. So right now I have not even created input. So now let's go and do that. So here you can see one component that is example component. Here right now you can see I'm just having heading and with add button that you are just seeing in browser. So now let's go and create our input fields. So inside row let's write down one more div that will be class form group. And inside that write our input fields so input fields we are going to take one is product and another one is amount so first one let's go and create input so write class form control then placeholder write enter product so input type will be text so now let's change it to call md4 now let's copy this and paste create another field so another field will be amount and that will be type number then now let's create third one that will be having button to remove like dynamic fields so now change class to danger now let's go and check in browser so there now you can see input fields are present and button also present for remove so now let's go and do the functionality for add button so so here to add more fields we need to click on add button so so we need to handle add button click event so for that we will be using at the rate click and one function we need to call let's give name add fields so now let's go and create in methods so write in methods add fields so now we need data variable first so now let's create one product data and this will be our array and inside this I'm defining one first that is blank product and amount so always we will be having one input field that is first row so here now let's go and display this so here write one more div and with that we will be using v4 directive that is basically loop in view so with v4 we will be writing first one is value index in product data that's how you define loop in view now we will be giving v model to our input fields so write value dot product and the, for amount also value dot amount and we need to give one key to like particular element so that we will be giving index so now in add fields write this dot product data and we are going to push one one more blank like object inside this array so write push and inside that same product as blank and amount as zero so now let's go and check in browser click on add now you can see it's adding one more input row so now we need to do similar for remove also but in this case we will be removing one object from our array so here right at the rate click remove fields now let's create this function remove fields and here remove fields we will be taking one key here like which one to remove because let's say we are clicking on three so we need just three to remove okay so let's write function remove fields pass index now so inside remove function let's write this dot product data dot slice so this slice function removes particular index which one you want to remove so pass index and comma one so this will just remove one element so now let's check one if condition because we want that last one should stay that one input field should be there so we need to check length of this product data and it should be greater than one then only splice like any element do not remove zeroth element basically 
So now let's go ahead and check in browser refresh. So now let's click on add. And if I'll click on remove, so you can see it's removing. Add some more and then again remove. But if I'll click on last one, it's not getting removed because we have put there condition. So now to submit this form, I have already installed Axios. So you can also install Axios. So now let's create button for submit here as we have not added that. So write button with class, let's say BTN, BTN primary and give a name, let's say submit only. So now let's handle at the right click of this button, write call function, let's say save product. And now let's go and create that. So in this function, right let's say save product and inside this function we will be calling basically we will be sending our data using a post request and using axios to our backend that is laravel so write axios dot post and first parameter is your url that is our api basically so here url is http localhost with port 8001 and write api and backend url that is api url here is basically product save so now second parameter is your data so here we will be designing this dot product data so now let's uh, write then to hold the response of this api so now let's console response and write catch also if any exception or error is there so also console that now let me show you back in so firstly api so api you can see post is there with product save and it's going to product con product controller store function so let's go to product controller and store function you can see i'm just getting all request data and just for each one loop is there and that is inserting in my database here i have not done any validations or something because my main focus is on view part that is front end one so now let's check in browser okay button i need to do below because it's taking complete dev only so now let me just format and now here add after dev so here let me just give one margin also so now you can see it's working fine now let me show you database also so here you can see product stable and same input and same column i'm having product and amount so now let's go and check in browser so now let's add two more rows and first write let's say test one amount 100 write second test two 200 amount test three 300 amount and let's submit so now let's check in db so there you can see three rows inserted so that's how you can add dynamic input fields into your form so that's all in this video in this video i've shown you how you can add dynamic input fields to your form i hope you like this video if you have doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel